Yes, sir. We're officially back at it. This is Bug Nice coming at you with the SH Figure Arts Star Wars The Phantom Menace movie Qui Gon Jen figure review. Let's do it. This ain't for no scalper. You a scalper? Then fuck out shit. This one's for them real collectors. That's army building and posing figures. Marvel legends, imports, mini mates that I'm fucking with. Hype beasts we know about. You. Stay buying figs don't know about. Me. Look at the side, look at the front. This box is a little different than some of the other SH Figure Watch Star Wars releases as there is no window to the front of the box. Usually with some of the exclusives, they will do it where there is no window. All right, let's get the sky out. All right, so we got arguably the worst Jedi in history out of the package here, Qui-Gon Jinn. I know a lot of people have given him a lot of flack over the years. He's probably from the worst set of Star Wars movies too, or the worst trilogy being episode one, two, and three, probably the only saving grace from those movies uh, was Darth Maul. And uh, this is not a new figure by any means. This figure came out in 2017, like in September or something like that. But it's new to me because I'm just now opening this figure. And with all of the recent reveals for upcoming SH Figure Arts Star Wars figures, I figured I'd just look at this guy real quick. So this will be a quickie and uh, let's jump right into his accessories. So I'm not going to apply every set of hands, but you get two, four, six, eight sets of interchangeable hands. There is uh, 10 sets in total with the two fists on them, two open hands with the fingers spread, two kind of uh, the force Jedi force using hands, a couple of holding hands and another set of holding hands here. His uh, green bladed lightsaber and an additional head, which I will pop on shortly. Uh, there's also a uh, unignited or a non-ignited blade here that comes attached to his his belt that you can detach and take off when he actually has an ignited blade in hand but looking at the deco everything here looks very clean it's pretty typical of the jedi that are dressed in the traditional jedi garb and uh paint work here from sh figure arts is great the look is great you know the likeness to the movie is great and surprisingly this head scope is actually uh, better than I anticipated I'll get a close look at that aside from the gold highlights that they uh, keep putting in all of their characters hair uh, I think the head scope looks pretty good and I think the likeness is 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 there I think it looks decent uh, I can't really complain too much about this only thing I don't like about this head scope is obviously when you start to articulate the head the hair doesn't sit flush so it's only going to sit flush if you put it all the way up and it'll sit flush in the back and if you put it down a bit then it'll sit right in the front so I don't really like that but here's a look at the uh, neck peg and in order to apply the additional head you gotta pop this off and then you will separate the two portions of his cranium front and back here and then apply the other one and then there's a close look at that one he's like my balls now this is obviously from the movie when he uh, expired <laughs> In the movie when Darth Maul finally uh, vanquished him. Uh, so spoiler alert if you haven't seen uh, Phantom Menace by now. Then I don't know where you've been. But this actually looks okay as well. Um, not bad. I think the likeness on the other head sculpt is a little better. Theory is holding a saber. It should be noted that the wrist pegs on most of these figure arts figures are very small. So you need to be careful with that. And a lot of the hands. The... Um, the peg hole is a little off-centered, so you need to be careful when you're applying them as well. But yeah, he can hold the saber with no problem, and you don't actually have to pull off uh, any portion on the bottom of the saber. You can actually just slip it directly through uh, the open hand here, so that looks good. In terms of articulation, you saw the head was on a ball joint. He's going to look down that far, not going to look up as far because it's hindered a little bit by the hair. Turn left to right, it'll get a nice pivot. You can do a full 360. Shoulders are going to come up that far. You can do a full 360. You get a slight butterfly joint. You get an upper bicep swivel. I think it turns at two points, yeah. So it turns at the shoulder and turns uh, at the upper bicep as well. You get a double jointed elbow. You get a swivel and a hinge on the wrist. You get upper torso articulation it'll move back and forth you need to be a little careful though because this will pop off pretty easy I'll let you see the ball joint inside of there so there's that uh, here at the pelvis it does retain all the articulation there but it's hindered a little bit by uh, the soft goods here not too much because it is soft goods so that's cool uh, and then the legs will come out just about that far you get an upper thigh swivel 
double jointed knee, you get a little rotation on the foot, slight hinge, toe joint, and an ankle pivot. So not bad articulation considering the robe. Only thing I don't really like about the deco on some of these is the way this hangs because in other situations it's going to still be sticking upright. If you put his arms up, uh, it's not actually uh, in a position where it'll fall down and kind of look authentic. So uh, that's probably one of my only gripes about the garb for the Jedi's from SHF. So one quick size comparison and I'm out of here. I've got uh, Qui-Gon Jinn with uh, Mace Windu in the back and young Obi-Wan Kenobi. All different bucks but again the same sort of basic Jedi garb. You can see the differences between the three and uh, yeah like I said all of the reveals that uh, Bandai showed uh, has me excited for things for the future as far as displays go. Uh, we're going to get uh, Darth Maul with his cloak so that way we can have him on a speeder that just released recently and have that be movie accurate and maybe uh, maybe we'll get some some robes for the Jedi here even though the Star Wars Black Series robes uh, fit really well on the SH Figure Arts figures. We're going to be getting the Sidious from SH Figure Arts and we'll be getting uh, the most sought after uh, character ever, Jar Jar Binks. <laughs> so that should be pretty funny to see people displaying uh, with him. And yeah, I'm excited for what they're going to do with uh, SHF. I just like the way they photograph and the way they move as uh, opposed to the Star Wars Black Series figures. So yeah, Qui-Gon Jinn is cool. Uh, big shout out to my, my friends over at Big Bad Toy Store. I actually have missed this pre-order. And then they uh, they actually secured one for me and got me one. So uh, don't forget to check out Big Bad Toy Store for all of your action figure needs. The uh, link for that will be in the description below. And thanks for hanging out. As always, rate, comment, and subscribe. And until next time, peace. That's crispy.